Wolfram Sievers the 10th of July 1905 to the 2nd of June 1948 was Führer, or managing director of the Annenerb from 1935 to 1945. Topic: Early life Sievers was born in 1905 in Hildesheim in the province of Hanover, now in Lower Saxony, the son of a Protestant church musician. It is reported that he was musically gifted, that he played the harpsichord, organ, and piano, and loved German Baroque music. He was expelled from school for being active in the Deutschvokischer Schutz und Trutzbund and went on to study history, philosophy, and religious studies at Stuttgart's Technical University while working as a salesman. A member of the Bundisch Jugend, he became active in the Artemannen Gesellschaft, Artemann League, a nationalist back to the land movement. Topic: <laughs> Annenerb. Sievers joined the NSDAP in 1929. In 1933, he headed the Externstein Siftung, Externstein Foundation which had been founded by Heinrich Himmler to study the Externstein in the Teutoburger Wald. In 1935, having joined the SS that year, Sievers was appointed Reichsgeschaftsführer, or General Secretary, of the Annenerb, by Himmler. He was the actual director of Annenerb operations and was to rise to the rank of SS Standartenführer by the end of the war. In 1943 Sievers became director of the Institut für Wehrwissenschaftliche Zweckforschung Institute for Military Scientific Research, which conducted extensive experiments using human subjects. He also assisted in assembling a collection of skulls and skeletons for August Hertz study at the Reichsuniversität Straburg as a part of which 112 Jewish prisoners were selected and killed, after being photographed and their anthropological measurements taken. Trial and execution Sievers was tried during the Doctors' trial at Nuremberg following the end of World War II, where he was dubbed the Nazi Bluebeard by journalist William L. Shirer because of his thick, ink black beard. The Institute for Military Scientific Research had been set up as part of the Annenerb, and the prosecution at Nuremberg laid the responsibility for the experiments on humans which had been conducted under its auspices on the Annenerb. Sievers, as its highest administrative officer, was accused of actively aiding and promoting the criminal experiments. Sievers was charged with being a member of an organization declared criminal by the International Military Tribunal, the SS, and was implicated in the commission of war crimes and crimes against humanity. In his defense, he alleged that as early as 1933, he had been a member of an anti-Nazi resistance movement which planned to assassinate Hitler and Himmler, and that he had obtained his appointment as manager of the Annenerb so as to get close to Himmler and observe his movements. He further claimed that he remained in the post on the advice of his resistance leader to gather vital information which would assist in the overthrow of the Nazi regime. Sievers was sentenced to death on 20 August 1947 for crimes against humanity, and hanged on 2 June 1948, at Landsberg Prison in Bavaria. <laughs> 